Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Zulu in Civilization 5. My archer might die. A knight could probably kick an archer's butt. And he ran right by. You find ancient relics that accelerate your civilization's progress towards a golden age. Let's lock him from getting those. And we will build the road. You have finished an herbalist. Excellent. You need access to more forest. I'm actually thinking I might want to buy some forest for you. Well, money's always good, and the market does provide positive income. So there's no maintenance cost. I need that extra... The extra trade route. He can't get to you. He's locked. Come on. Relax. If he goes there, he spends all of his movement because he's he's in a sphere of control. No stable nations. I'm not very stable. We're not as as happiness. Okay. Previous route four gold that way. Yeah. It's pretty much going to be what we have to do. We could rebase to like here and try to reach somebody that's farther away, but no, just keep keep the four gold coming in. And you're going to pick up March. It's doing a pretty good job of exploring. You found a secret religious community. I missed the rest of that text. By all means, I will kill that for you. Excellent. Okay, um... Probably the road. You've got your high altitude training now. Camp out in the city so that you get a bonus. Keep our happiness up a little bit. We need to get somebody camping out here. That's your job. You can do nothing for now. Hey, we actually have enough strength to demand tribute from them. Demand 199 science. It's hostile. This is the guy that we just met that wants us to kill that encampment. So if I do that, you know what? No one's no one's pledged to protect him at all. I wouldn't mind stealing some sides from him. It's about one whole science, basically. It'll cancel the mission. We're still going to clear that out. Fortify there. So we're still at war with that guy over there. You know, that's a thing. Peace with them. We're still at war with you. Uh, and two. What's this thing? Okay. We are about to knock out another settler. I did improve that already, yes. Okay. Got two guys working on roads. The marble is almost done. 
I did not want to see the chariot archer. I like having the workers over there, but that's about it. You know what? They actually didn't cancel the quest. Kind of weird. Alright, what was I thinking? Um, yeah, so we got two working on the roads. We need to get more faith from that tile there. So that's going to be the next thing that we do. Alright, we can settle over here. Maybe in the desert on that tile right there. So we get the tobacco here. Converting one of these desert tiles into something not use useless would be nice. Uh, just stay on alert. Fortifying the city. Buffalo loins! 15 composite. Wow. Jeez. All those stacking bonuses against ranged attacks. Altitude training. The flanking bonus is crazy on these guys. We need to go to war. <laughs> want to attack somebody. Alright, so this settler... See, what I was thinking is that if I... I want the faith from this. I don't really need that tobacco, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. I need more happiness. I need to get that improved so that I can sell it or trade it. We have income. Does anyone want to sell anything to me? No? Nothing at all? Of course not. No one has any spare stuff to give away. You're almost not angry with me anymore. Global Monopoly on T. Hmm. Alright, nice. So we got a free unit out of a couple places. We need to remember to get you high altitude training. We got a free unit here as well. We'll give you Buffalo Chest. Just heal up for now. Okay. I need to go to war with uh, the bad guys. Income is fantastic at the moment. We still lack this extra caravan. Tons and tons of food here. So we're getting away with not really having to fight anybody just yet. Gotta improve both of those. I'm, I'm actually considering, you know what, I'm gonna buy another worker. Four workers does not feel like it's excessive. Did you pick up the ability to embark yet? Still haven't. High altitude training. Same for you. And go explore. We're gonna want you. You have no forest at all, so the. Uh, yeah, probably just stick with the granary. Why can we build the herbalist? Must have a nearby workable forest or jungle. We don't have one. That's strange. We've got marble. Alright, you are gonna go work on that. You are going to work on this one. 
get that faith. Gotta get that. Gotta get that faith. We're going to automatically purchase a great profit. For your chance at a great profit. Let's just leave that as is for now. You seek a great profit. I seek to make one. It's not really my deal, is it? Okay, uh, you're off to explore now as well. By all means, Austria, you're far away. I don't want to be involved with you. Let's be friends. Uh, and two. We're about the same strength. We are roughly equal in, econo in, in economy. We already have this farm started up. Let's keep on getting our road in. I'm doing it manually just because I, I like kind of like doing it. Discovered masonry. Currency. I feel like we kind of need some more happiness. Offset all of the expanding I've been doing. Four cities is not that many, but... Looks like we could actually maybe fit one more city here. If we wanted to. Back to exploring for you. Forest is awesome. What's it take to actually make like a a uh, lumber mill? Requires what? I don't know why I can't remember that, but where's metal casting? Oh god, I'm working on that right now. Like literally right now. There we go. That's what we want. We want more production from our forests without having to cut them down. Want to go to peace? Sure. The real question is, do we still get the money from other civilizations? I think we do. Yes, we do. Excellent. That road is pretty much done, and since we don't have that, this is not coastal. I do need to do a road all the way down here as well. That town is slowly growing. We'll sink the funds into it, just for the sake of having our city connection. Much more isolated in this map than I was really expecting. Thought there'd be a lot more war. It's a big map. They're settling pretty pretty well. But I'm like over here just with a bunch of city-states. All on my own. I'm not complaining. Can't interact with any city-states right this moment. I could maybe swing a couple troops up that way. We've got a thing there. level are you? You're only level 2. You need to get up there and start shooting at that. Not a lot of production here, so I don't think we need the Ikonda. Bulawayo.
So, who can I go to war with? Japan? Apparently my military deployment is threatening. It's funny. 5.5 ducats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's profitable city connection. Okay. It's nice of him. Almaty desires a trade route. And I can ask you for tribute. See, if I do the tribute, though, I'm worried about the, you know, city-states grow wary. Eh. It's just, maybe, maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll forget, you know? It's not a big deal. You are still working on that granary. Jeez, that is slow. Four and two turns. I have a bunch of extra faith. I think we're going to be okay. We're actually going to form a religion this time. Last time I did not get a religion because I was the... Uh, it's just too slow to the party. I should try putting these guys next to the mountain just to see if they pick that up. They do have the ability to embark, which is non-combat. Could work. We need to fight somebody. I want to go to war. Pick this, like, fantastic warlike country and then... And we don't actually go to war. Our great generals are super strong. It's come to my attention that you have a large number of units near my borders. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? I do? Oh god. <laughs> I do. I just got my units on Explore and they're just all like, rah! <laughs> just moving around as a group. <laughs> uh, I do have a large number of- I literally am just passing through. I, you know, just hang out, relax. Alright, so I, I promised him. Oh. Promised him I'm not trying to kill him. No, really, I'm not, I swear. Sure. Explains why Almaty was willing to get bullied. I was just... Had a lot of units nearby. Iroquois culture is now exotic. Okay. Pretty good amount of money. That uh, extra settler is gonna pretty much put us down to zero happiness. But if we can get the uh, monopoly on tobacco, that'll help offset it. So either up here, this would this would work. And a huge amount of overlap. Can't go there. Could go right here, but then, you know, that'd be stupid. Let's go up there. Then I could even go over here. It's all desert and it'd be a crappy city, but there's space for it. A Roman, a Roman Forum. Instant military increase one. What's that? Reduces crime in all cities. Creates a copy of each type of military land unit you control. Places the places the unit near the city where the terracotta army is constructed. Seriously? Creates a copy of each type of military land unit you control. Huh. Think we can actually build that? We have 24 production. 
a lot of production. Sure. I mean, let's try it. Why not? Ten turns? Nope. That didn't last long. I never did spend my horses, did I? We have one chariot archer and that's it. Problem is that it's the melee units that get all these crazy bonuses. So, horse archer is probably not going to be nearly as good as a an actual horse. Why do I not actually do I not actually have the research? I I completely skipped military theory. Uh, let's skip military theory. Hey, great profit. Sweet. Let's do it. I want a religion. So, we're going to call this religion, um... Meeny, meeny, miny, moe. I like... That symbol. Hinduism. Yeah, we'll just call it Hinduism. It's fine. So, we have Sun God. Founder belief will be Apo Apostolic Palace National Wonder. Gain faith when a unit is killed in battle. Council of Elders. Plus 15% military unit production. You see faith and golden age points when you conquer city. Military production is cool. Mandate of heavens just kind of a little bit of everything. Let's go for hero worship. We'll build it in the capital. The follower belief. Up to 15 production. Hmm. Plus 10 XP and morale promotion for land units. That sounds awesome. Just keep on stacking bonuses on our units. Although the production would be nice. I, I do like the idea of having the morale promotion. So we'll do that. Let's do it. Alright, sweet! Uh, so now we want to... Purchase an order. I'll just do it manually um, when we get enough. Actually, no, it's not going to automatically buy one. It's going to tell me I can do it, I think. Well, it says automatic. Uh, maybe it will buy it automatically. But we want to buy an order here. That'd be awesome. Alright, well, our settler is going to head up that way, and we're going to continue to militarize. There's no upgrades that we can do right now yet, right? I not think so. Get our cities all connected up, and 
relatively peaceful playthrough, actually. So, alright, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.